motive. Why do you think she's doing what she's doing? Hey, Donna's a good friend, and I think you need to ask her that question. What I can tell you, Maria, is I was out on the stump everywhere. There wasn't one person who asked me about Donna Brazil in the past. They were asking me about their health care. They wanted to continue the progress that Terry McAuliffe had made in Virginia. They wanted to make sure we had people who were uniting us and not yeah. dividing us. And that's why well, Donald Trump was on the ballot. And there was Donald, a real division why, within the party, Tom. I mean, well, come but, on. There was there was a, a hey, whole conversation Maria, happening, and that conversation is going on right now that it was rigged, that everybody was behind Hillary Clinton and not <laughs> Bernie Sanders, and that's what Donna Brazil is saying. Let me ask you this. If the Maria, Democratic National Committee... And and Debbie Wasserman Schultz had been neutral. Let's say they were neutral and they weren't in the tank for Hillary. Would Bernie Sanders have gotten the nomination? And perhaps hey. would he be president today? What do you think? Hillary Clinton won the Democratic primary by 4 million votes. She won the popular election rigged. by over now 3 million votes. But we know it was rigged. Votes, but Tom, Maria. now we know it was rigged. Maria. Maria, I understand that when the Democrats win, as they did across the board last night, that you'd like to focus on other things. I think the most important question that your listeners want to know is how is it that the Donald Trump that you're touting uh, kind of got their clocks cleaned last night? And, and that's because they are taking away health care from people. They're dividing our communities. We need healers. We need well, people we who know, are going to bring people Obamacare, together. We know and, that and that's Obamacare, why we're doing it. Tom, we know that Obamacare was imploding before Donald Trump. I mean, everybody <laughs> knows that. But let me ask you, have well, you why spoken, do we have so have many you people spoken to Bernie Maria? Sanders? Have you spoken Maria, to Bernie Sanders? Maria, Tom, Maria, you're the head of the DNC. Have you spoken Maria, to Bernie I'm, Sanders I'm since, uh, since she made those claims? Maria, Donna Brazil. Maria. Maria, I'm just so befuddled. Did you see the record enrollments for the Affordable Care Act at the outset Have of the enrollment Have you seen the period? increases in premiums, I mean, Tom? Up 116 percent in Arizona, up double digits across the country. Everybody oh, knows Maria. this story. It's an old story, Tom. Maria, we know I it. Think, have, I think you we're gonna have, to have you no, spoken Maria, to Bernie Sanders? Have you spoken to Bernie Sanders? Maria, I have been out on the stump campaigning for people. I've been focused on the future. I was helping Don't Democrats you think win you owe in him Virginia. A phone call? Does somebody yeah. owe Bernie Sanders a phone call since yeah. now we know what took place and everything was rigged and you were behind Hillary okay. Clinton when, in fact, he actually could have fairly gotten the nomination and didn't? You haven't spoken to him since Donna Brazil's comments? You know, Maria, we're all focused on winning elections. We're focused on the right, future so here. Bernie, I've so had many Bernie conversations Sanders. in Unfortunately, the past. Bernie Sanders' hopes uh, were dashed because it was well, rigged. So you haven't spoken to well, Bernie Maria, Sanders. Okay. Maria, and you don't travel, think. You don't Maria, think. I don't know if this is a lecture or a Q&A. You tell me. I thought this was supposed to be. Uh, a back and forth, but maybe it's not. No, it is. It is. Okay. Well, I'm, not, I'm not feeling question, that right now, Maria. But you're not Maria. answering the question. Do I, I, you I, think I was Bernie to Sanders the question, would have gotten the nomination? Talking. Would Bernie Sanders have gotten the nomination if Debbie Wasserman Schultz and the DNC were Again, neutral? That's it. Hillary, That's the question. Uh, Maria, states run primary elections. The Democratic Party and the Republican Party do not run primary elections. Hillary Clinton won the Democratic primary by 4 million votes. She won the popular vote by 3 million votes. You know, After I took over the DNC, I, I traveled for a week with Senator Sanders. are you Sanders cleaning it up? Because is the, we the question are is, working right, look, to make you were sure. A, you were a fantastic Labor Secretary. Tom, could, you and I used to talk all I, the time about I, the job story. And yeah, I assume you didn't interrupt me as much then as you do now, I assume Maria, you would get in reason. there. I don't know why. I assumed you would get in there and try to clean it up. But, you know, people are scratching their heads. You go back to the hole when, when you guys were hacked. The DNC was hacked. All your emails are out there. Instead of actually getting the might and the power of the CIA, the FBI, to look at that computer to figure out what the heck just happened, what happened? The DNC would not give the computers over to, to the FBI. Instead, you hired a private company to look at the files and then report right. back to the DNC. What was in that laptop that you didn't want anybody to see? Maria, you are in a fictional wonderland right now. That's not the fiction, FBI Tom. This has, is all fact. Maria, this Maria. is all fact. Okay, Maria. Maria. We, what's fiction? The FBI, right, Tom, the that's former it. What's FBI fiction? director, the FBI director himself, the former FBI director said under oath, the uh, DNC cooperated throughout our investigation. Oh, you this mean when he called it a matter instead of a criminal investigation? When he called it a matter instead of a criminal Maria, investigation? Look, all we want to know, all we want to know is if the DNC is going to continue to be rigged. You had great elections <laughs> last night. You had victories. People want to know, can they trust the DNC anymore? We know what happened with Hillary and Bernie. You haven't even spoken to Bernie Sanders since all of that went uh, against him and the entire party w rigged the election against him. I mean, so people just want to know, can I trust you? anymore. 
Maria, the voters yesterday in Virginia, the voters yesterday in New Jersey, the voters across this country said, you know what? The Democratic Party has a vision that I embrace. It's a vision of inclusion what and opportunity. What is the vision, Tom? Tom, that, what's the vision? Because I haven't heard a vision. It, Your party has been hijacked by the extreme left, Barack okay. Obama, Elizabeth Warren. Come on. What's the vision, Tom? Uh, the vision, Maria, is a vision of an America in which people have access to health care as a right for all and not a privilege for like a few. A vision, a vision in which like everybody in every zip code can get quality education. A vision in which good jobs are available everywhere. A vision in which we don't do tax bills that are just giveaways for people who already have enough and don't need another tax cut. Where, where's that giveaway? They, where's the giveaway? Well, how about the repeal of the uh, estate tax? How about making it harder for people who have serious medical issues, middle class people, and you're now going to tax the uh, health Tom, you the, were, the you, health your party expenses. was in charge for you eight years. Now? There was not even an approach at uh, lowering taxes, at okay. creating an environment so people would create jobs. You know this. You were a Maria, business guy before Maria, you went into I, politics. I used Stop to be able to, Maria, you know, I, I went, the, the, the voters yesterday said in Virginia and New Jersey, yeah. facts matter. All when right. Donald facts Trump matter. lies, there you go. they will do Bottom that. Line. And, and I wish the facts Tom. could be part of our conversation, but they don't appear you. to be. Thank you, Tom Perez.